I thought about it today, and I really wanted to spoil you. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but I... But when I see you, I get this feeling in my heart. And I've never gotten it with anyone else. It's only ever been you. And I'm glad it's you. Even if it may seem like I don't understand everything. I'm definitely trying. I'm trying to understand and be a better boyfriend. So... Hopefully I don't seem dead on the floor, like some kind of fish for dinner. No, I guess that was a terrible analogy, huh? But still, you're gorgeous today. I hope you realize that. I've been thinking about you day in and day out, and I've realized something about us we never know when to speak to express ourselves fully it's always this non-stop this strange feeling where between us it seems like there's no boundaries but deep down is that really the case do you trust me pudding i mean last time Guess I just got a little unsure of myself. Sorry. It's nothing you did wrong or anything. It's my own insecurities getting the best of me. And I want to destroy them. Each insecurity, one after the last. So that's why I came up with this plan. I realized that there's nothing we could do if we can't talk it out, if we can't communicate. So I thought this date would be perfect. It forces us to talk. Yeah. I entered us in a competition. Though it's no big deal if we lose. It's a competition of performing. And I thought we'd make a good team. It's sort of like show and tell. Way back when you're in elementary, it's sort of like that. Only a more updated version. There's no limitations, and I was hoping deep down we could do something special today. Something like dancing, or we could come up with a plan. Just the two of us. I know I'm not so multi talented. But I've definitely been learning. Things about you. Things about myself. I've realized. There's a lot we need to know. In order to make this work. Yet still. I keep thinking. I don't care if we end up in last place. As long as we get the time. And form some kind of bond. I'd be happy. Hey, Pudding, does it seem strange? I know it's kind of an abstract idea for a date, but I really wanted to share it with you. So, uh, what you think? You can feel free to shoot it down. It wouldn't hurt my feelings, to be honest. If you have a better idea, I'd love to hear it too. I'm glad that you believe in me like that. It means a lot, because without belief and passion, what would we really be putting? We'd be back at the start of everything, empty like husks instead of full of feelings, full of passion. I want to have that passion, to be honest with you. After getting so used to it with you, I don't think I could handle going back to lacking it. I know, Pudding, before you say anything, 
I know full well that you love me, and you should know that I love you. I just don't want it to turn into something boring, something mediocre. I want us to be the exception, not the standard issue. <sighs> I know what I'm saying is selfish and picky, but I can't exactly stop something that's so carnal, so integral to who I am as a person. It's because of you, because of us, that I've managed to find myself. Instead of being lazy, instead of being empty, I finally know what it means to be alive, what it means to be someone, someone more than just getting by, faced with my depression and sadness. You saved me. Even if it doesn't just go away, I finally found a way to be okay. To find what matters to me and putting your what matters to me. Day in and day out, I think about you. Whenever you're away from my sight, I just think to myself, I wonder what you're thinking what you're doing, if you're alright, my mind coming up with doomsday scenarios, but deep down, I can't bring myself to be clingy, because I want you to do what makes you happy, and I know, I know full well, that 90% of the time, you're working, you're busy, and I miss you. Selfishly, even though I know, deep down, you're doing it for me. I still get greedy for your time. I still want more of it. And I definitely don't want to share with anyone or anything. And yet I compromise because I respect you as much as I love you. But even then, I'll miss you, and I'll cherish every time you come back to me. I'll cherish every moment that you choose to share with me. Not just moments that get shared out of coincidence, out of care, but moments of trial and grief I'll still be thankful for. Because I'd rather face the whole world if it meant I'd be able to have a moment with you. I'm not the most social, but when I am, I guess I just realized it. I realized I can't always be a hero to anyone but you, to myself. It's an iffy world, but our world is different. Our world is nicer, and I love that. I want it to be our own little world that we live in. I don't just want it to be something where we come here now and then. I want it to define us, to be our pride, our joy. And while this all has a lot of double meanings involved, and things that are far more deep than this conversation should have been. I want you to know, just as sure as I hold this hand, as sure as I kiss these lips, I am yours, and I hope you'll be mine, because I don't want to share, and I don't want this world to take us apart. I hope I wasn't too vague, or bored you, or prevented you from getting ready for our little date, but I, I want to make this one special. That's what I'm trying to say, in a roundabout way. You're my comfort, you're my happiness, and I know it's unfair to put so much on one person. 
but it's just how I feel. I can't exactly say that it's ever going to change, but I'm just happy as long as I've got you. But don't let that feel like a chain. Love isn't a chain. It's a necklace. It's there when you want it. Not a collar. Not one with a leash. Not bindings. Love is so much more than that. But I know you knew that. From the very start. Otherwise, you would have never gotten involved with a guy like me. You've known from the start, I don't sugarcoat my words, baby. I'm glad that you don't either. You tell it how it is, and I'm proud. I'm proud that I get to experience that. If I didn't, I think I wouldn't feel comfortable talking to you. If we didn't talk and tell the truth to each other, if we were filled with lies and deceit, I don't think we could call each other loves. It would be different. And you definitely wouldn't be my pudding. My smile. You know, that's a good one. One that I never thought I'd be able to give to anyone, to be honest with you. I thought it would always just be mine. My smile that I practice in the mirror. I want you to know. I can do it with you and actually mean it. This smile isn't just practice. It's real feelings. And I hope you can see that, that it's not just forced feelings. It's so much more than that. I can actually be myself when I'm around you. It's so powerful. It means the world to me, and I'm glad you're the way that you are. Yeah, it's exactly like what I said. I couldn't have done half of this without you. Actually, it'd be less than half. I think I'd just be empty. I'd never have given love a chance, if not for you because I thought it wasn't meant for me. I thought it was just something to watch from the sidelines, be happy for your friends that get it. But I realized an opportunity as well as my viewpoint. It wasn't a good one. I was gradually putting myself in a toxic place. I realized it during our first meeting, when I counted myself out, when I didn't think it was even possible that you had feelings for me, then I realized it couldn't have been that for two obvious reasons. Because if that were the case, you would have left afterwards. You would have left me on my own. And I would have been very misguided. But you didn't do that, did you? You stuck to me like glue. If we're being completely honest here, I've spent most of my life counting myself out, following my friends, never really doing things because I thought I should. It was always just following what I believed in without actually facing myself. You made me look in the mirror and really consider that maybe, just maybe, I can have feelings for myself. That it's right. That if I honestly believe that other people deserve it, I should take my own advice and give myself a chance. That's where meeting you, it was so impactful, I, I didn't know how to respond. But I'm glad you helped me find my words. And what I wanted to say all along was I love you, 
And even if I don't fully love myself yet, I'm working on trying to. I'm trying to find that side of myself, that acceptance, that feeling that I'm not just flawed, that I do deserve to be loved. You, it's thanks to you, Pudding. That's why you're my smile. Because you took the time, and you're a good listener. You decided to give me a chance and really listen to me. And that was what I needed. More than anything. I needed someone to care and not be talking and telling me what I needed to do. You listened. And you told me it's okay not to be okay. And that... That made all the difference, you know? I... I'm glad I met you. Really glad. Just as sure as my hand catches yours. I'm... Happy. Truly. Even if it's not all the time, not completely happy or any of that. I'm just happy experiencing life with you. And I can say that even if we still have a lot to work on, we've made leaps and bounds from the start of it. We finally managed to find our normal. And that's what this is. An attempt to improve it. An attempt to share something with you that I don't normally get to. And... I want to get excited. I want to smile for you more. But I realize it's... It's not something you can force or make happen too quickly. And that's why... I thought maybe if we worked together and we built some trust, we might be able to. Even if it's in time. It's okay if it takes a while. There's no rush. Life isn't going anywhere. And neither are we. I know you struggle with a lot of things too. But thank you for existing. All of this would have been a nightmare without you. And I'm glad that you're here. Really glad. So no matter how tonight goes, keep your head up. And know I'll be proud of you for even agreeing to come with me. Thank you for being you and not someone else. It's everything I could ask for. You. You unapologetically. With all your faults and all the things you dislike about yourself. I love all of them. And I love you. Love is a strong word, and I didn't think I had any right to say it. But I finally have the confidence to say, this love isn't just this or that. Baby, I'm in love with you. And this isn't just a phase. It's not honeymooning. It's real. We're real. And even if it breaks my heart to think you're dating someone that still struggles with this, I know we're equals. We both struggle with loving ourselves. And it helps me to know that I can help you to find that love. To really understand yourself and to take time where you need it. You can take as much time as you need and I'll never leave you. I'll be there even if it's for the rest of eternity and then some. Hey Pudding, look at me. <laughs> 
Not like that, silly. I was just asking you to look into my eyes. For no other reason than I just wanted to see your beautiful eyes. You might not think there's something special, but when our eyes meet like this, it's one of a kind. I wouldn't trade it for anything. And though the words might be cliché, it's the actions that never will be. And so what if we're cliché? What is a relationship? It definitely isn't a competition. And I'm glad it's not. I think if it was, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> but I... I think the only thing I want to do is compete with who can make the other smile so much. Look at me talking at you like this, and we still somehow made it here. Hey, Pudding. You got any idea of what you want to do? I don't really care. Mostly because it doesn't matter. I didn't come here for anything other than... Oh. Well, don't you worry. If you're getting cold feet, then I'll just warm them for you. And you can bet we'll find a way to make it an excellent show. Something's telling me that deep down. That even if I want to, even if I run, it doesn't change anything. And who would run from such a gorgeous pudding? Though admittedly, after talking out all those things, I, I thought about it. I realized there's more to us than just saying this. It's our actions that make us so special and pudding. I'm really glad you're mine. I'm really glad that I get to have your hugs and kisses. And right now, I think what I want to do more than anything is just be brave. I want us to prove that we can step on that stage even if we fail. Doesn't it sound more fun that way? And then, if we do, we can at least say we made fools of ourselves in a way that makes us both smile. So, wanna go make fools of ourselves or something? I know. It's not that easy, right? But still, I don't wanna hold back anymore. And right now, I'm just happy, holding your hand. Yeah, Pudding, it's gonna be special. No matter what we do, precious memory. So, let's get out there and kill it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, thank you all for coming here. Now it's occurred to me that there was a lot of things we could have put on display tonight. There was a lot of things that we could have said, a lot of things that we could have done. But one thing struck me through all of this, one thing that I needed to do, even if it cost me the competition. You see right next to me is the most important person of my life. I spent my time with them. They saved me from myself and gave me so many happy memories. So, I thought it was only the most important part. It should be something to be celebrated. You see, Pudding, without you knowing, I may have orchestrated something. This right here, everything about it, 
I think I fooled you. But one thing that's not a joke, and one thing I wanted to make clear, is one question. Will you be with me forever? <laughs> of course I mean it like that pudding. Will you marry me? In front of all these witnesses, in front of all these eyes looking at us, I want to marry you. Right here. Right now. In this impulsive decision that may at first seem like me just jumping the gun on everything. I want you. And I don't want anything to get in the way. And as embarrassing as it is to say all these things, I won't stop even if my entire reputation is on the line. I'd give it all up for you. And I'd do all this again. So, Pudding, will you be mine? God, I'm not gonna lie. He scared me for a minute there. I thought I went too far, too fast. The pudding. I'm glad you said yes. <laughs> Did I fool you? All of this was a setup because I didn't want you to have a clue. I wanted it to be a surprise that only me and you could experience. A once in a lifetime one. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like paid actors or something. These people are just my friends. Friends I've made thanks to you. And while there's a party to be had, part of me just wants to go home with you. Part of me wanted to treat you to something special, so I thought home wouldn't be good enough. At the top of this building, I rented out the master suite, the penthouse. It took all of my savings, but I think it was worth it for one special night. Just me and you. Would you like to see the view with me? Mm. This elevator goes right to it. Care to do the honors? I can't wait to see the look on your face. When we're finally up there, staring from the top of the world, seeing the beautiful city below. I've always wanted this for us, and... It looks like we're finally here. I didn't want to tell you, because I thought you might get nervous, but there's more good news. I just got promoted to one of the biggest esports teams in the Eastern Hemisphere. So we're going to be able to afford a lot more, and the contract is wonderful. I get to spend more time with you, so... We might be able to make a habit of visiting places like this, or maybe getting one for our own. <laughs> I know you wouldn't mind, and I definitely wouldn't, especially if I get to see that glowing expression every single day. It'd make it all worth it. So pudding, what do you think? Not too shabby for a guy who used to be depressed and count himself out. I've come up so much, and it's all thanks to you. You're the reason for all that change. You're the reason why I feel so alive. Thank you, Pudding. And I'm glad you're finally all mine. That we don't need to hold back. Not that we ever were good at that, but... Right now... We're both figuratively and literally... On top of the world, aren't we? <laughs> don't you worry. And just leave it to me, okay? You can leave everything to me. I'm not saying to slack off or anything. 
if you have your goals still, which I know you do, don't hold back, but just don't think I'm gonna let you go, ever. I'm sorry, Pudding, but I don't know how to let go, cause you're as important to me as breathing. And you've got every bit of heart that I know how to give. I'm all yours. But even that isn't doing justice to you. Not even by a long shot. I've realized there's a lot of things in this world, Pudding. But love isn't the only way of expression that I want to share with just you. I want to share with you every high and low of my life going forward. That's why marrying you was the obvious choice. And I'll never regret it. And I'll never take it back. Your mind pudding. God pudding. I'm so happy it's you that I get to be with. I'm so happy you said yes. I can't help but smile. It's a rare occasion, I know. But I want it to be one that makes you happy. And I want to spoil you endlessly. <laughs> I love you. And it's not easy for me to say this. But I'm glad it's you. In more ways than one. I never thought I'd have someone that I could confide in. The way that we rely on each other. It's beautiful. It makes me feel so alive and I just want to share all that love with you. If I could kiss you forever, would you let me? No, don't worry about it. I know the answer is yes. I just don't want to waste a moment that I could be spending spoiling you, making you mine. So if you don't mind, I'll just kiss you all over. What's the matter, Pudding? If I didn't know any better, I'd say your heart almost stopped right then. It was beating so fast. Oh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Pudding, is it all right? All of this, I mean me, us, is it truly what you want? I want to pamper you and also assure you that I'm not going to go away. What we have here is real. And I'm glad that this moment is exactly what it is. That I can touch you like I do. That I can... Guess you even here. <sighs> My pudding, I... <sighs> Kiss me. And, well... That was all I could think about before my mind went blank. You should know this more than anyone. My love for you is only ever for you. No one else gets it.
Okay. I just don't want to be misunderstood and I want you to know there's no one like you. No one. <laughs> That's right, Pudding. I've always wanted to hold you in my arms like this. I've always strived to be the man that you dream of. The man who earns your trust and love. And I'm so proud that I get to be in this moment with you that you said yes. I love you, buddy. I love you. And no one else. Maybe that's selfish of me, but I just don't care. I love you too much to worry about that. Pudding, I need you more now than I've ever needed anything. I want you and I love you and I can't wait to see more of you. Pudding, I... I'm so glad you're you. I'm so glad I get to be with you. Pudding, I... I love you so much. Please, don't hold back, okay? I promise I'm okay. And I'd never hold back with you either. Please, I... I need more of you. More, more. Pudding. That's right. All of this, every touch, every feeling, I want it to resonate with you. I want to be the only thing you think of in your heart, in your mind, on those lips and in those eyes. Pudding, I love you more than words can express. I love you so much. I love you in ways I didn't know I could feel. I love you in ways that make me feel so lucky. Pudding, I'm so happy I met you. And I'm so glad we're together still and forevermore.